I'd like to show you some of the applications and benefits of using art masking fluid. In this video I'm going to talk through two kinds of art masking fluid, those being the standard art masking fluid and also the colourless art masking fluid. In a separate video I'll show you how to use the permanent masking medium. So back to the original two, art masking fluid is in fact a liquid form of a kind of masking tape if you like. The standard art masking fluid as you can see is slightly yellow in colour. This is because it has a small amount of yellow pigment within it. Whereas the colourless art masking fluid as the name suggests is in fact completely colourless because that yellow pigment has not been added. The best way to show you these is to actually show it in use. So I'd like you to have a look at it down here. To show you how to use these, I'm just going to do a rough sketch on this piece of paper here. Um, and what I'm going to use is both the colourless and the standard art masking fluid to mask out areas of the paper. Once this is dry, we'll rub it off and we'll be able to see the paper showing through the wash that I apply over the top. Both forms of the masking fluid can be applied with either the brush, a stick or the end of the brush. If you're using a brush like I'm going to, a good tip is to actually apply a little bit of soap to the hairs beforehand and this will protect the brush from the art masking fluid because once it's dry it can actually damage the end of a brush. So first of all the standard art masking fluid, I've given this a shake but basically take the lid off, 